Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Chef and owner of Strata, Anthony Serrato, is here with us. We are glad to have you. Thank you very and much. And we hear you're kind of the talk of the town now. You've, you've uh. worked your way down to the final four of a very important chef's yeah. challenge, I hear. Yeah, it's a, it's, um, it's a great it's great fun, I think. That's, that's mainly what I'm there for. I mean, to also gel with my guys in the kitchen. So it's, uh, it's pretty entertaining. It's a tough competition, though. You're just given whatever, and you've got to make it work. Yeah, especially when I got apples. That was kind of weird. <laughs> apples in, uh, in March. Apples <laughs> in March. All right, so that's coming up, the finals. So good luck to you with that. Well, thank you very much. All right, and what are you uh, making? Is this something well, that's Chef's Challenge worthy? Yes, this is uh, uh, the arancini. It's a uh, fried risotto ball. It's one of the street food things that we do uh, at brunch and lunch and also appetizer for dinner. Basically, it's a, uh, the basic dredging, breading process where it's uh, flour, eggs, and then we use, uh, this is gluten-free flour mix, and that's a gluten-free uh, uh, po uh, potato uh, flour. Inside there is flour, risotto, that's bar cooked, some cheese, some herbs, What kind of cheese pepper. do you put in them? I use mozzarella. And then we're also going to do a gorgonzola uh, cream sauce with some uh, cremini mushrooms, uh, oyster mushrooms, and uh, we'll do some roasted garlic, uh, cipollini onions that we roasted off already, uh, and then we deglaze it with uh, Madeira wine, add some sun-dried tomatoes just for flavor, pecorino romano, and gorgonzola crumbles on top. We're going to throw in a little bit more ghee, uh, then we'll take some roasted garlic, the already roasted cipollini onions. You can throw in a few sun-dried tomatoes as well. Wow, that's smelling fantastic already. Oh, thank you. Cr fresh cracked black pepper. It's just a touch of sea salt. You can add some cheeses too. It's going to make it salty anyway. At this point, we can take a little of the... Uh, Madeira wine to glaze the pan, the mariola flavors, some heavy cream. Wow, that's looking fantastic. A little pecorino romano to uh, tighten it up. And of course the uh, gorgonzola. Well, you're mixing that all together. Let's get you guys the recipe at home. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link, that is the fastest way, or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803. And pronounce this again for us while you're plating it. Uh, Iron Sheeny. That looks amazing. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. And that's what's cooking today in the Carolina Kitchen.